In this session, you'll learn how to bring your personal watercraft to a predetermined point by using a stopping procedure, giving consideration to wind, current, and boat traffic, coming to a full safe stop within a foot of your point of contact on the dock or slip. You'll learn three techniques to apply to bring your PWC dockside or into the slip depending on the wind or current. You'll learn to plan an escape route to use if your maneuver is unsuccessful. And you'll also learn techniques to use if your craft does not have reverse gear. What problems are we trying to avoid? Approaching the dock or slip at an angle where the bow is nearly head on, using too great an amount of reverse. Hitting the dock or slip or pilings or other obstacles including boats at your location. Resorting to the use of body limbs to fend off the dock or slip. Requiring action by someone other than you as the PWC operator to avoid a collision. And not having an escape plan if your initial approach proves unworkable. So, how do we do it right? First, determine your angle of approach based on which of these four predominant wind or current conditions prevail. Coming directly towards your PWC as you approach at an angle to the dock, moving perpendicularly onto the dock, perpendicularly off the dock, or coming directly behind your PWC as you approach the dock. Confirm that your passengers have been briefed on your arrival plan and are ready to proceed, and your escape plan if the approach must be aborted. If possible, come alongside the dock with your bow pointed into the wind or current, whichever is stronger, for maximum control. Also use this technique when there is no wind or current, or the predominant wind or current is coming onto the dock perpendicularly. Approach slowly at a 20 to 25 degree angle and do not rely on reverse to dock at a predetermined point. Use intermittent throttle control, trading off between forward and neutral to slow your momentum as you draw close. When the bow is between one and two PWC lengths from the dock, make a smooth turn to bring the PWC closer and almost parallel with the dock, shifting into neutral. Shift back into forward gear if necessary to help position the bow close to the dock. Center the handlebars and shift into reverse to stop the PWC and then turn the handlebars in the opposite direction to swing the stern towards the dock. It won't take much. Just a small burst of power should be all you need to ease you into place. If the wind or current is coming towards the dock, allow it to push the PWC to the dock. Otherwise, gently increase the throttle in reverse if needed to bring the stern to the dock. Turn off the engine once the PWC is secured to the dock. When the predominant wind or current is coming off the dock perpendicularly, approach at a 30 to 45 degree angle at near idle speed. Add power as needed to continue forward movement. When your PWC is about a half PWC length from the dock, turn sharply to bring the bow parallel with the dock. Continue to apply a small amount of power in forward to move the PWC into the dock. Turn off the engine once the PWC is secured to the dock. When the predominant wind or current is coming from directly behind you, approach the dock at a shallow angle. Use occasional touches of reverse power as needed to slow your progress. When you are two PWC lengths away from the dock, steer slightly away from the dock and then shift smoothly into reverse gear. Turn the handlebars in the opposite direction to bring your PWC to the dock and turn off the engine after the PWC is secured to the dock. Then, enable your passengers to safely disembark. Many older craft, as well as one or two new models, lack reverse gear. As steering is dependent upon thrust, you also won't be able to kill the motor and steer your way in. In short, under power, you're moving forward with momentum. Without power, you're simply drifting forward in the last direction you steered your PWC. You must be very mindful of speed and momentum when docking a PWC without reverse. It is recommended that you practice the following methods for controlling your PWC in sheltered water away from all obstructions prior to actually docking. One method for docking without reverse is to alternately stop and start your engine. It's awkward, however, and typically results in unwanted speed as you thrust forward. Another alternative is to disrupt your momentum by making a slow right turn in front of where you intend to dock. This will slow much of your craft's momentum. Once you've turned back toward the dock, depress the stop button before your craft once again builds up speed. Err on the side of caution. 
Cutting your power in advance and drifting towards the dock is certainly better than staying under power too long and damaging your craft. 